Hey everyone, it's Laureen. I'm back. I am so mad at myself for not doing more videos. I really wanted to video her when she was little and show how much she's grown and all that kind of stuff. So I really feel bad um, for not doing it and I really wish I had. Um, but so she is three months old now and I want to start doing this regularly so that I can track her growth and so that everybody else can share with it. Oh, <laughs> there's my kitty munchkin up there. Um, so here we go. So she's three months old. Um, and I'll kind of go back a little bit and tell you what she's, what has happened over the last three months. She is, um, she's an amazing baby. I am so in love with her. She's a really happy and, um, easy baby really for the most part. Um, she had some issues in the beginning with gaining weight and, um, she has acid reflux. So, and breastfeeding, I'm still doing breastfeeding, but I'm doing it um, every other feed. So I'm doing, here you go, Java. My doggie wants to sit down next to me. So I do every other feed with um, formula. And right now we're on Gerber Good Start Soothe. So we started her on Neo Shore, which is what the hospital was using. And we were doing that supplemented, so I was putting it into my breast milk, um, not all the time, but like I think every other feeding too or something like that. Um, but she just, and then I was nursing regularly as well, um, but she just really wasn't gaining weight um, with the curve. She's definitely going to be smaller because she was born six weeks early, so, um, you know, so she's going to be in a little bit of on her own curve, but she was getting further and further away from the general curve. So. So the doctor wanted me to start really kind of giving her um, full formula so that she was getting the calories needed in this, in, that she needed. And as soon as we did that, she started to gain weight. Um, so we put her on Gerber Good Start Soothe, and that has been working out pretty good. Um, let me grab my phone. Oh, it's right up here. At her last weigh-in, she was 8 pounds and 12 ounces. But let me... Um, go back and tell you kind of where her growth was. So at two weeks and two days when we were released from the hospital, she was um, 14 pounds, 14, uh, 14 pounds, yeah, right. She was four pounds, 14 ounces. Uh, at three weeks, she was five pounds, 1.2 ounces. And at six weeks, she was five pounds, 15 ounces. And seven weeks, she actually only gained a little tiny bit. She was five pounds. Oh, I'm sorry, she lost weight. She was five pounds, 13 and a half. Um, and that's when the doctor kind of stepped in and said, okay, we need to uh, try to change this. So, and then the following week, she was nine, I'm sorry, two weeks. Later, she was um, at nine weeks, she was six pounds, five ounces. And then 10 weeks, six pounds, 11 and a half. 11 weeks, seven pounds, 7.7. 7. And 12 weeks, eight pounds, five ounces. And just recently, eight pounds, 12 ounces. So she has finally started to gain weight and um, it's going good. Um, so I just finished my maternity leave. I'm back to work. This is my first full week back to work, and it was hard, um, but it wasn't emotionally challenging as I thought it was going to be. Um, the first day I was sad. The first day I was definitely sad. It was weird leaving her with essentially strangers, um, but then I had to put myself back to when we were in the hospital, and when I left the hospital, I was essentially leaving her with strangers too, but I was a stranger to my own baby in a sense because I didn't really know what I was doing. So, you know, I, I put trust in, in that the, um, the doctors and nurses, of course, they do this for a career. They know what they're doing. They know a lot more than what they were doing than I was doing. So, so that made me feel kind of comfortable. And then I kind of felt the same way about leaving her in a daycare with teachers that do this for her life, do that for their career. Um, they know a lot more about parenting than I do. I'm still learning every day. So... Um, and I thankfully have a great, um, a great employer who is letting me work from home when my husband is away in Key West. So on the even months of the year, I'm working from home and I'm bringing her and picking her up from daycare. And then when my husband comes home next month, um, it'll be an odd month. He will be 
dropping her off and picking her up and I will be going into the office. So um, I just, it was going to be really hard for me to make the hours myself, um, dropping off and picking up. Like, you know, usually parent, one parent will drop off and one parent will pick up because the constraints of a work day don't generally work out if you work further away from the home, and I do. So, so I'm very, 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 very thankful that they're letting me do that, and I don't feel as um, anxious about it because she's only 10 minutes away from where I'm actually working in my home. So if anything had come up, they needed more milk for whatever reason, something happened clothing-wise or, you know, God forbid, an emergency, I'm right there. So, so I feel good about that. Um, her personality is really starting to develop. She is... <laughs> She's right over here. She's in the swing. She is a very happy, happy baby, huh? You're a very happy baby. Yes, yes you are. Let me just pick her up for you guys to see her. Um, she's in newborn clothing right now, so she's still a little peanut. Um, oh, look at that. Maybe I, <laughs> I didn't plan this at all. So take her bib off. So one thing we do have going on with the acid reflux is she does spit up a lot. So bibs are a very essential part of our life. <laughs> so here she is. This is our little Harmony Grace. And this outfit is actually a three month, a zero to three, so it's big. It's big on her, but it's still cute. It fits her good enough. Can you see yourself? Can you see the baby? Who's that pretty baby? Is that you? He's a pretty baby. <laughs> so, so, um, so yeah, a funny story about this outfit, too. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, a funny story about this outfit is actually I bought it for um, somebody else years ago. Um, and I never got to see them before the seasons had come and gone. So, it, and then their child grew out of what, you know, when she would have fit into it. So, so I had this sitting in my closet for years. Um, so I guess technically it is the first outfit that I bought for her. Not knowing it was going to be for you. Yep, that's right. <laughs> so it is definitely big. Um, but it's okay. We have lots and lots and lots of clothes that are summer. I'll put you on her. And let's see what we'll back a little here. We have lots and lots and lots of summer clothes for her. Um, people have been so generous giving us some pass-me-downs and we've got a lot for her shower. Um, so I'm trying to get her through everything before it's not warm anymore. Um, I swear I could probably put her in a different outfit every day and still not make it through everything that we have for her for summer clothes, so it's really pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry, I say um a lot. <laughs> so, so yeah, so this is her. I just want to do smiles some more. Let's get you smiles. Hi. Can you smile? Can I talk? She loves to be talked to. So, let's talk. Hi. Hi, baby girl. What's going on? Who's a pretty girl? Who's a pretty girl? Who's a harmony face? Yeah. And when she does get fussy, she, I think she's starting to get hungry, so she might get a little fussy. This little thing is her total little best friend, huh? Right? She's just going for it. <laughs> just give it to me. We love these passies. We have um, we have a ducky, um, and then I have another monkey version as well. And she absolutely adores them. See, and now she's, this is recent, she's starting to hold on to things. Huh, she's starting to grab a hold of stuff, huh? She rolled over for the first time two weeks ago. Oh my god, craziness, craziness. I can't believe that you're starting to roll over. She, um, just when she had just turned three months. So she's three months and two weeks right now. Um, so when she was just um, a couple days past um, being three months, she rolled over. So she is an overachiever. Let's get that leg out there. Yeah. You are an overachiever. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes. Hi. Uh -huh. Yes. You want to talk? You want to tell a story? <laughs> yes. Her eyes are still blue. Um, I really don't think it's stay blue. But who knows? 
who knows? Um, let me see if you can see them. I don't know. Let's see if we can get you to see them close up. I don't know. See, my eyes are green. You can see them up there. My eyes are green. Her daddies are brown. So, I don't know. <laughs> He's a pretty baby. You see the baby on the screen? You see the baby? Isn't yeah. she pretty? <laughs> so, so, we're not sure. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Like this. Yeah, it's actually going to be time to nurse her. Huh. It's time to nurse. So, um, and nursing is going pretty good. We have, um, when I was on maternity leave, I was going to breastfeeding groups. Um, it's weird because whenever I would go to the breastfeeding group, she didn't never seem to move a lot of milk. She would only move like an ounce in an hour. Um, but when I nurse her at home, she nurses and she falls asleep. So she, and then she falls asleep for like a few hours, for two to three hours. So I don't know. It's weird. Um, if I do sense that she hasn't had enough, uh, she's very been you know, having a lazy latch or something like that, then I'll just give her um, a couple ounces of, of pump milk that I have in the fridge. So, you know, I've been pumping the whole time through to try to keep my supply up. My supply has not really increased a whole lot. Like the most that I pump at a time is three and a half ounces, four, three to four ounces. Um, and that's um, working out okay since I'm pumping a few times a day. And then I do overnight. So I usually I'm giving, you know, since she's only taking two bottles, um, she's only taking breast milk every other. Um, so it works out for daycare that I can pump enough to keep up with the formula versus um, breast milk. Um, so that works okay. I'm trying to increase it. I'm using fenugreek, um, and I'm pumping, like I said, often. I'm trying to do it like whenever she's, you know, after um, I give her formula or prior to my, her formula feed, I will pump. And then after she nurses, I will also pump off whatever's left. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe I have to do it even more often. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So far, it's been enough to keep us going, so that's good. Um, um, sleeping, she actually is starting to stretch out her sleep now. Um, initially, the doctor was having me wake her every three hours because she wasn't gaining, you know, weight quick enough. She is, you know, gaining weight quickly, quicker now. So I am letting her sleep four hours during the day. Well, I was when I was on maternity leave, and at night, I'll let her sleep as long as she wants to. Um, and that seems to be working out good. I was doing that the week before we had our last weight check, and she still did great, so he was fine with it. So that's why I told daycare too. I said if she sleeps past three hours, that's fine. Don't let her go past four. Um, and that works out pretty good. Uh, as I say, babies grow when they're sleeping, so I don't want to steal her of her sleep. I think she needs it too. Um, if she's waking up like ravenously hungry, then you know I will bring it back to like three and a half or something. But I think it's working okay. Uh, most of the time during the day, she will wake up somewhere between three and three and a half hours. So. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it for now. So, I'm going to try to do these monthly. Um, I do have some Citrus Lane updates to put up as well. So, I actually have one that I'm going to do now. I got a mystery box. I actually got my Rose Teresa one and a mystery box. I'm going to do both of those videos. So, um, that's it. We will talk to you guys later. Let's see if I can get some more smiles. Come here, Harmony. Hi. Say bye, everybody. Say bye. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> Love you so much.